Hey everyone and welcome back to my kitchen again for today's video which is another holiday leftovers inspired dish that I filmed about three or four days after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be showing you a flavor packed lettuce wrap using pulled dark turkey meat, caramelized onions, a few select Middle Eastern spices, and a sweet and sour apple and onion slaw that blends seamlessly with the juicy and rich dark turkey meat. So without further ado, let's dive into this recipe. Alrighty, leftovers baby. Alright, so let's get an onion first. And we're gonna use the onion two different ways. We're gonna pickle it, and then we're gonna caramelize the other half. <laughs> it's supposed to be up here. Go! Sweet cat. All right. Tough onion. That should be good for the pickled onions. Put these in a bowl. The rest, we're just gonna... We don't have to be too particular about the size. Just thin enough so they caramelize pretty quick. So these are gonna go into this hot pan. Hooey! Gotta love onions. A little bit of oil. The trick for caramelizing onions is making sure the bottom gets a really good fawn. And then once you start kind of turning the raw onions into it, the moisture that leaches out of the, the onions sort of deglazes the bottom of the pan naturally. But you can also Speed it up just a little bit with some vinegar. So I'm gonna take a little, just a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. Sherry vinegar is nice too. And these will just start picking up that color really quick. You could even use water if you don't want the, um, the vinegar flavor. Just every once in a while, if you feel like it's getting a little too hot, you can add just a little splash of water. And then once they start getting that really beautiful caramelization, turn the heat down. And like I said earlier, they'll slowly leach out just a little bit of liquid as they cook and do sort of a natural caramelization. Do a little bit of salt in there too. Just a little bit. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, since this is the leftovers, some dark meat, and this is looking pretty good. And I'm just gonna put the shredded dark leg meat right over the top. And we're just gonna let that turkey heat up on low heat with the onions on the bottom. All right. All right, this is heating up nicely. Turn the heat down. I'm gonna grab an apple and then do a little julienne on it. Similar to the onions that are in the bowl. Same kind of size and shape to match that. Just gonna slice these up into kind of like matchsticks. Put a little bit of salt and a good amount of apple cider vinegar. White wine vinegar can work as well, but this is gonna be a nice pickling. Such a good topping for like a lettuce wrap or even just a little simple salad. Something sweet, savory, a little, little kind of spicy from the onion, some good acidulation from the vinegar. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that'd be really good in that is fennel, but I don't have any fennel at the moment. Okay, now I'm gonna get the lettuce out. And it's just this Boston bib lettuce. It's one of my favorite types of lettuce. It's so buttery and tender. This has already been washed. And uh, some of the outer leaves, I mean, this is all leftovers from Thanksgiving. So this is uh, definitely not you know, bought yesterday at the store. Some of the leaves are a little wilty, but it's gonna work perfect for a recipe like this. Because they're gonna be like little lettuce cups or wraps, however you kinda wanna describe the dish. And one thing I like to do is just kind of like stack them in order from biggest to smallest as it goes up. Yeah, right, that should be good. And then for uh, the turkey to finish it off, I have two Middle Eastern style spices. One that's like a Moroccan Vadovan curry. And then I have uh, Israeli style za'atar. I actually got these from Solvang back in uh, Southern California. These spices blend very, very well together. Mm, they smell amazing. Vadamon. And then a little bit of the, this is a tar. Give this a stir. Yep. Those spices are clutch. Super, super savory. They have such a wonderful smell. They have like dried shallots and garlic, yellow curry, uh, fenugreek. 
just some really, really aromatic spices going on here. Chop up a little Italian parsley, rough chop. We're just gonna add this to the turkey, just for a nice little pop of freshness, so it's not so brown. I have my serving tray here, and I'm just gonna add that too to keep it hot. All right, Oof, man, that looks so good. And this is time to plate. All right, Oof. like double stack them if you want, so they're a little bit sturdier. Good amount. And sumac to finish. All right, so now it is time to taste test. So as you can see, this setup is really uh, sharing friendly at the, the family table. So you would set this down in the middle of the table, big pile of lettuce cups, and everyone just has at it. It could be appetizer, could be a full meal, it depends on kind of what you serve it with, whether it's like rice or kind of uh, roasted vegetables, you can go crazy with a meal like this and how creative you can get with it. Um, but so now I'm just gonna sort of dive in and tell you guys what this tastes like. Ooh, I just love that I using up all my turkey. Mmm, dang, that's good. Really love turning leftovers into um, almost something that you would put together if it was the, uh, the sole intention of the meal to begin with. And so you get all these ideas from um, whether it's a roasted bird or a braise, like braised short ribs or uh, chuck roast and things like that. Just things that you would tend to not eat through that night and you have a little extra you can make just loads of different meals with leftovers that you work hard for and pay for. So hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, subscribe to my channel, like this video. The um, ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Drop a comment letting me know if you guys like leftover videos like this, recipes that utilize what's uh, you know in your fridge, the things that you pay for and work hard for. I'll do more leftover videos if you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later guys.